Dear beloveds, cherish and appreciate what you have now before it's too late. You never know when this is the best time of your life is simple before we make it complicated. Don't take any things for granted. Live with your heart open and be grateful and thankful for each and every day, no matter how difficult it may seem. Amen, especially for this year. We all hope that 2020 and pray that 2020 will be <laughs> done with and 2021 will be better. So let's read it. Let's think about what kinds of hopes we have for the future using a quote from Barack Obama about hope. Hope is not blind optimism. It's not ignoring the enormity of the task ahead or the roadblocks that stand in our path. It's not sitting on the sidelines or shirking from a fight. Hope is that thing inside us that insists, despite all evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us if we have the courage to reach for it and to work for it and to fight for it. Hope is the belief that destiny will not be written for us, but by us, by the men and women who are not content to settle for the world as it is, but have the courage to make the real world as it should be. God bless our reading of this particular literary book. Amen.
I'd like us all just to take a minute to relax and just allow yourself to feel a little bit more comfortable than you were just a moment ago. I'd like you just for a moment, if you will, to let go, let go of some of the busyness that brought you here tonight. Allow your muscles to relax. Allow yourself to feel just a little bit more comfortable in whatever way you would like to feel just a bit more peaceful in whatever way that means to you. I'd like you to think about the muscles in your body and any muscles that may be tighter or more tense than others and see if you can just allow those muscles to relax just for a little while. Just for the next few minutes, I'd like you to imagine that there really isn't anywhere that you have to go and there isn't anything that you have to do. So it's all right just to sit back and relax and think about your breathing. There isn't any particular way that I want you to breathe right now, but just think about your breathing. Think about how it feels whenever you breathe in and whenever you breathe out. And you can allow yourself to close your eyes if you would like or not. Just for a little while, I would like you to imagine what it would be like to let go of all the worries that you've been carrying around with you. Mainly trying to control everything. I know that right now there's a period of time where we all wish we could change the way things were, control the way things are, control our feelings or our family or our finances. But just for this little while, while we're here, I'd like you to imagine what it'd be like to just leave it in God's hands and just turn it over and to realize that this is not our responsibility it's not our responsibility to take care of everything that is happening. It's all right to just sit back and let go. And remember that there is only so much we can do. So much we cannot do. I know that during this time, we often feel very out of control and we worry that if we don't control things, things might get worse, but let us trust. Let us trust in the Lord with all our heart and know that God's peace is much greater than anything we could ever understand. So just for these few moments, imagine what it would be like if you didn't have to worry about anything. What would that feel like to trust completely and totally in the power of God? To trust completely that everything is unfolding in this universe the way it should, regardless of what we see. We know that God is good all the time. So just for a moment, all of that tension and anxiety that you may be feeling, imagine it drifting up into the sky and you can imagine it drifting in any way you would like. Maybe it looks like smoke. Maybe a cloud. Whatever you think. But it is drifting away now up into the ethers. 
and God is giving us peace. Imagine what it would feel like if God's love was coming down on you right now, in this very moment, filling you with calm and assurance. As they say, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. I'd like you to take one deep breath and let it go and sit just for a moment in this quiet and taking all the time you need and whenever you're ready you may come back to the surface of awareness and open your eyes. On this even song day, it is also Epiphany, January 6th, the 12th day of Christmas. This is, in our family, what always signified the end of the Christmas season. The tree had to stay up until this day, and then it was all packed away, waiting for another year. When I was a teenage folk singer, I learned a song uh, called I Am the Light of the World that had wonderful lyrics, but you were so busy trying to get all the syllables in, in time to the music, that the power of those words sometimes got overlooked. And it was only recently, relatively recently, that I learned that it actually was based on a poem called The Work of Christmas by Howard Thurman, who was a poet, a philosopher, an educator, a civil rights leader, and a theologian. So I offer for you in this time, in this space, the words of his powerful poem. I hope they speak to your heart as much as they have to mine. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among the people and to make music in the heart. Let's go forth and do the real work of Christmas. Blessings, my friends. I'm 
unlocked doors seem like the only way to live. You've got more questions than you can count. Open your eyes, look all around. You aren't alone. This is your home. Come and remember who you are here. Do this to remember who I am. Come and remember you belong here. I belong here. At this table, come as you are. Broken and bleeding's okay. At this table, eat and be filled. Come and drink in this place. Come and remember who you are here. Do this to remember who I am. Come and remember you belong here. All belong here. Come and remember who you are here. Do this to remember who I This is Blessings of Hope by Jan Richardson. So we may know the hope that is not just for some day, but for this day here, now. In this moment that opens to us, hope not made of wishes, but of substances. Hope made of sinew and muscle and bone. Hope that has breath and a beating heart Hope that will not keep quiet and be polite. Hope that knows how to holler when it is called for. Hope that knows how to sing when there seems little cause. Hope that raises us from the dead, not someday, but this day, every day, again and again and again.